Hey kids, I hope you have fun time with your small group debate class. And here are the next week's homework. First, I want you to try the Akinator. Now, a Akinator is an online app, and also there's an app for smartphones as well. So whether you use Galaxy or an iPhone, you should be able to download this for free. Now, Akinator is a mind reader. It search information of the things that you are thinking of, and I'm about to show you how that's done. First, let's say you probably know these two characters. This is Amy from Hunan Nadme, and this is Mew from Pokemon. So let's say I am going to go to Akinator, and it will ask me. The first question is: Is it a woman? So let's say I'm thinking of Amy. Okay, is it a woman? Yes. Is it a woman YouTuber? Yes. All right. Is it a game YouTuber? No. Is your character's name three letters? A E B. Yes, three letters in Korean, right? Is there Eun in the name? Yes. Is it a TikToker L Onni? No. That's quite no. And is she a main vocal? No. Amy is a comedian, right? Is there Shiot in the name? No. Does she reveal her face? Yes. Ishi Mika, Ain Amy? No. And does she have a cat? No. Okay. Does she have anything to do with TV program Muhan Dojun? No. <laughs> she does. Does she? Doesn't she? Okay. The do her legs exist? Yes. Anyo. Junjamida, right? No. Is she wearing a glasses? Is she wearing glasses? Yes. Did she kill her own mother? No. Does she have a nickname? Ipai Gamer or Piranha? Yes. Did she make hookjib in Minecraft? Well, I don't know. Murugesmida. Is your character a giant? Anyo? No. Is she related to Minecraft? Murugesmida. I don't know. And yes, she is going to make a guess, and that's Chang Dao and Amy. Yes. So she figures out. So Akinator can figure out what you are thinking by searching. In this case, let's try again with Pokemon Mew. Okay. Namjai Mika. Anyo. YouTuber Hanayo. Anyo. Because it's a it's a character, right? Ingani Mika. Anyo. No. Does it does it have legs? Well, let's see. Yes, Mew has legs, right? Two legs and a tail. Yeah. Pocky monster. Yeah. Ooh. Three letter? No, because Mew one letter. Mew monster. Yeah. Does it know you? No. Does she have pink hair? Really? Uh, I guess pink fur or leather. I'm going to go with that. Let's yes. Anyo, Hangulja, yes. Namja wa hakshi rangayo, no. Is it a cute Pokemon? Yes, I'll say. Mew. See, so now Akinator gets it right again. Now the reason why it's pretty cool, huh? The reason why I want you to try this is simple because I want you to see and I want you to think about whether computers can really teach. Or not, and if students ask interesting or strange questions, will computers be able to answer that? Well, here's your chance to try it, Akinator, and also try different questions. See in, in, in see if um, the teacher or Akinator can answer everything. If you can come up with a question that Akinator cannot answer, wow, that'll be great. All right, now the second homework is this. Wacky Wednesday. Now you are to create at least two-page book with Wacky Wednesday. Okay. Now Wacky Wednesday is a extremely, a super super fun book. It's basically a book with strange wacky things. Can you find something weird in this picture? What can you find? I already found it. I think I found. Let's see. Kudigi. Oh, I'm gonna go with 
I'm gonna go with Toyong and Circle. So I already found one that's here, right? Um, zoom, and that's here. Let's make the lines a little bit thicker so that you guys can see better. All right, because here it's a hose, but it's, you know, it's cut off, but the water's still running. So that's one I found. And another thing that I have found is this. Um, here, a chicken should be catching the worm, but in this case, it looks like a worm is look, uh, catching the chicken. So can you find one more? There needs to be three things here. I saw three, it said, right? Oops. It says, I, thaw, I saw three wacky things. So you will have to find three things that are wacky. And then the book goes on to say, I went out the school door, things were worse than before. I couldn't believe it. 10 wacky things more. So in this case, there will be 10 wacky things. So right off the bat, I know this is wrong because this guy has a crocodile, right? And then another thing is wrong is, another thing that's weird is this. Here, at the end of the flagpole, there's a shoe, right? So that's already weird. What else are we gonna find something weird? Oh yes, here, the fountain. If you look at the fountain here, you know that this guy should be looking forward, not backwards like this, in the guy and the horse. So this is how you find wacky things. And again, I also find one more here. Here's a guy who's in the water and that shouldn't be happening. So Wacky Wednesday is basically a fun picture book that you are going to find and look for um, something interesting. So do the entire book, right? Do the entire book. And when you're done, you are to create a book like this and you will have to create two pictures that goes with it. You can have as many wacky things as you like, but you will have to write something that goes along with it. So here, and everyone in class will look for the wacky things that you have created, okay? So I hope this will be a fun exercise, fun homework for you to do, and I will see you next week. All right, bye-bye.